So I am joined by two wonderful actors from India, one of them who I'm absolutely fond of, Bhumi. So welcome to you and Akshay sir, a warm welcome to you and congratulations on Raksha Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Now Akshay sir, I think you've been really busy doing a versatile style of films within the commercial space, whether it's a Bachchan Pande, whether it's a Prithvi Raj and now Raksha Bandhan. Uh, so I guess how important is diversity for you at this stage of your career? At this stage, it has been since last 15 years. It's right. been very important for me. I Because I got stuck with an image called action hero image. Mm. And it was very difficult for me to come out of it. And uh, I tried and tried and after a long time I succeeded in coming out of it and that's why I keep on doing a different kind of films and uh, keep on having an image and then dismantling it and trying to do something else all, all the time. Right, right. That's a very important thing. I, I, I think an actor should keep on trying different kind of uh, image um, and to try and do different things. Definitely, very well said. Bhumi Anandan Rai has, you know, he's always presented actresses in a way which we've never seen before. Yeah. I mean, be it Kangana and Kalumits Manu, uh, Sonam and Ranjana, recently Sara Ali Khan in Atharam I mean, her performance was fabulous in that. Katrina in Zero, actually, which I was really a big fan of as well. So, what essence did he bring out in you as an actor this time around, which perhaps might have been something you never quite discovered about yourself as an actor? I think just the simplicity with which he wrote this girl and for me to kind of uh, bring that into my performance because you know I've always played women that are on a mission, that are trying to do something, you know there's maybe not a point but you know I also internalize my performance a lot but with this film he told me something very simple, he's like look she's not a complicated girl, mm -hmm. you know this is a film about simple people, you know living the simple life and that's the beauty of the story. Right. You know, so he's like, you don't have to inte uh, intellectualize everything that you do. And I do that often with my performances. Yeah. So I feel that's something that he really kept me in check about. And, you know, just making sure that I become a part of this world, mm. you know, because it's Chandni Chowk, it's Delhi, there's color, there's, it's a happy, happy environment that Anand mm. has. And he always does that, yeah. you know, so, and he seamlessly kind of took me into that as well. Yeah. Because you and Akshay sir both, I mean you both are working together after four or five years since Boy. Toilet actually yeah. and that was the first time I actually met you both was actually yeah. at the press conference in London. Um, so you know when it does come to uh, picking up the language of the common person, I feel like you both have seemed to have mastered that. So to what extent, I think Akshay sir, do you actually reflect on your earlier days of growing up and your struggles when bringing out characters which exist within the fabrics of our society? Yeah, all these kind of things makes a lot of difference. I mean, when we grow up, the kind of uh, like I'm very good at uh, picking up languages, speaking uh -huh. different different kind of uh, accent that I can have it. And like when I met Bhumi first, uh, I started talking a little bit in Marathi language because she's a Maharashtrian accent. She yeah. has a few people. Aren't you a Maharashtrian? I am. Then how did I speak? Um, let it be, let it be. No, I can. I can. I need to learn it, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'll be the right teacher for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, but yeah, so you basically pick up the languages and yeah. you seem to adapt yourself very well. Uh, absolutely. Uh, since last now, I've been since last 15 days here in UK, so I can actually speak in the same language. Say, accent. I'm a British accent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was going to test you there actually. <laughs> yeah. But I think also, um, Bhumi, I think for you as well, I mean, congratulations on Badaido. You know how much I've loved that from what it's meant to our community as a whole. Yeah. Um, so I think when it comes to like sort of social films, you definitely have been quite the face of that. You know, I think so has Akshesa actually. Um, but you know, when it does come to these films, you know, do you feel like this whole infotainment genre that's there? Do you think that's just a trend? that's there, that's very momentary in Bollywood, or do you think it's going to be a permanent shift no, in cinema? No, I think it's going to be a permanent shift in cinema. I think it's been happening for generations and decades, and you know, we're just kind of taking it forward. But, uh, you know, if you look at Akshay Sir's films, there's so many that he's also done in the past that have always had something to say. And um, I feel uh, that's the best 
thing that that's that's our strongest tool you know how else do you give back you know you give mm. back by entertaining people you know giving them a good time and also kind of helping them change their mindset you know yeah. big or small and however however they can so uh, i feel very proud that i've kind of mm. created a space within uh, you know uh, uh, within the films doing such cinema right. but the idea is that so says that you know it should always be a mix of everything because our main priority needs to be that we need to entertain our audiences mm. Mm. and everything else that happens along with it is just a plus right. absolutely but what about you uh, akshay sir because obviously you've been a face of many social films in fact every time i like i see a lot of jokes actually on social media whenever something happens like we're waiting for actually sir to make a film on this yeah, yeah, so, 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 you know, all the time the memes come up that yeah. if anything happens in the country or anywhere i'm supposed to go and do a uh, remake the film or something yeah how do you how do you react to that actually it's, it's amazing funny. how you're laughing at it actually i think i love the fact that uh, i they make so many memes on me on my films i i think i find it very funny It's also a great compliment, right? That you know, people that. think yeah. that you know his films are capable of solving a bad situation. Even I think that. that's quite a compliment. Though in a funny way. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. Right. Now I think Raksha Bandhan. You know, I saw the trailer and it reminded me of an old film, Rajshri film, Kut Tapasya, uh, which again was about sacrifices. And you know, Rakhi ji, I think played the main role in that. It's about how she sacrifices her life and puts her life at hold for her siblings. And again, it really reminded me of that as well. So I think for you both, what does sacrifice mean to you when it comes to siblings, when it comes to your loved ones? I think we can begin with you. Maybe oh. your report with siblings. Okay. Um, I think. any relationship needs a bit of compromise and a bit of sacrifice uh but it the thing is with your siblings you know it's there's no right or wrong with your brother or your sister you know we quarrel we fight but we are each other's biggest support system and nobody can come question my sister mm. you know for the things that i question and i feel that's the sacrifice at times we let them have a day at times you take the day you know i'm the elder one so obviously the responsibility on me is a lot more and i feel very happy that i can provide for my sister and my family the way i can right. what about you what about the sacrifice the sacrifice, the sacrifice to you? Means, yeah i think uh, the relation i have with my sister um all the sacrifices she has done for me mm-hmm. so uh yes this is all the best actually i have to say Sorry, sisters are the best. I have to say, they, they, are, the, they are the best. You cannot compete with them yeah. um, <laughs> because they are the, they are lovely. They are lovely. The sacrifice, the real sacrifice, meaning they understand more. They speak more. They are better with it, mm-hmm. and they know it. Um, so uh, for me, uh, I think. Um, I'm still learning about sacrifice from her. Also, their relationship is very sweet because you know I've seen them together many times, and uh, it's just like you look at them and you know it's just a touch of a relationship full of so much admiration mm-hmm. and love, and they're so protective of each other. Mm-hmm. They also have like a lot of common interests, and it just just a good vibe. And also, again, in a lot of the films that you've done with Akshay Sir, I think. You know, one thing that I must say to I me, mean, you've always been strong. So, how important is it for you know when you do have a mega star of his stature in a film? Uh, how important is it for you and to make sure that your part is also equally strong in in the films that you've done? I think, um, luckily, it comes from the writing. You know, and um, I just feel like on both the projects, you know, starting with Akshay sir and the director uh, Anand sir, uh, they are very fair as people. Mm-hmm. you know so it was right on the script level where i was like okay whatever however long i'm in the film it's going to be an impactful performance mm-hmm. for me and uh, especially when i'm doing when i'm collaborating with akshay so i have a lot of trust and a lot of faith in all the people related to this film i don't know just like yeah, home ground for me yeah, it's like my comfort zone you're familiar so, with the whole thing yeah i just right? yeah just my comfort zone so mm-hmm. i have i have incredible trust Anakshya sir. Right. Anakshya sir, you know, I think 
when it comes to the box office, you definitely are a king for that matter. I mean, you've had so many successes in your life as well. But there's obviously no denying that you've also witnessed failure from a very close lens. When we live at a time in the pan post pandemic where obviously box office collections are very unpredictable, or these other what you play here. How do you prepare yourself uh, for that? Because it must also impact you and right, your confidence. Yeah, I, come from, I come from the school where you just keep on working. Whether hits or flops, whether what your last film is or what your second last film is, doesn't matter. The most important is be disciplined, work hard, don't trouble anyone, be a producer's actor, and listen, and just keep on working. This formula, actually, I I have always seen it in Amnesty Amitabh Okay, it doesn't matter what happens. Today it is something. Tomorrow they will speak another language. Everything changes. So. I have done that. I have given 12 flops at one time, wow. then 18 hits at one time, then again 13 flops at one time, and again some 8 to 9 hits, and it keeps on changing. And I think uh, it's a very natural thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Like after every night comes day, and after every day comes night. Yeah. So you have to. Now it all depends. If you've worked hard, your nights can be a small, smaller night. Like in UK, only three to four hours of work. So it all depends on your hard work. Right, that's yeah. beautiful. And I think Bhumi, I'm sure your approach is always like that. Because every time we've spoken, I know how, like we've also spoken about the stuff that you've unfortunately you've had to go through on social media and it's not been nice. But you, you've always been so positive and strong. What gives you that positivity and that strength to overcome everything? I think I just take each day as it comes, you know, obviously, like everybody else, I also have my bad days, but I have a very strong support system of family and friends and, uh, you know, uh, that I all, that I have somebody to go back to, yeah, you know, that true. kind of soothes me, makes, gives me the confidence to keep going and uh, yeah, so I so said that, you know, there'll be good days, there'll be bad days, if you're seeing success, there will be failure, you just need to, you just need to learn how to handle it and failure is a great teacher, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> In many ways it does. But look, it's been such a pleasure, Bhumi and Akshay, sir, to have you on film mission. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, happy birthday. Thank well. you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. That was Bhumi Pednikar and Akshay Kumar. Thank you so much once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday!